Welcome to the FAQ video for Alley Cat Yoga's upcoming 200 hour yoga teacher training in Toma, Wisconsin. I'm really excited to be here today to answer some of your questions and know that at any time, please feel free to reach out to myself or Dave, the owner of Alley Cat Yoga with any further questions or if you need clarification. My name is Ashley and I am often a guest instructor at Alley Cat as well as one of the lead teacher trainers upcoming in our training for June 2018. This is a 200 hour yoga training, so it's pretty intense, that runs for 16 days, 20 days actually total, from June 8th to June 28th. There's a four day break in between that, which is awesome to have. So this is going to be a very intensive uh, training, an all day, every day thing, that will teach you and give you the tools to teach amazing classes, to develop as a person and a human and to make lifelong friendships. Just so much that you're going to get out of this. So let's go through some questions, shall we? Okay. First one is, I mean, if you already know you're doing this program, the first question is, how do I sign up? Well, it's pretty simple. AllyCatYoga.net. Just go to that website, click on YTT or yoga teacher training, whatever it is, and there should be some buttons and things to apply online. After that, it'll guide you in ways to submit your deposit and make payments um, for the training. And you want to make sure you do that early because we do have a, a max capacity or a, a limited number of spaces available and we'd love to see you in there and not miss out on this opportunity. Uh, all right, the deadline to sign up for early bird registration is April 30th, and then otherwise a regular price goes through the, the start of our training. Um, just to put that out there, early bird price is $2,200 total with a $500 deposit, and full registration investment is $2,600 with a $500 deposit, depending on when you decide to sign up. Earlier is better. Okay, what style of yoga am I going to learn to teach? Dave and I both took our training five years ago at a place called American Power Yoga, and we were taught power yoga, power vinyasa yoga. So that is what we are bringing to Wisconsin, to Alley Cat Yoga, is our knowledge and uh, passion for vinyasa yoga. It's a flow-based yoga, and it doesn't have a set sequence. So we're not gonna give you a sequence and say, here, teach this, this is all you know, no, not at all. We're going to give you the tools to create your own yoga classes unique to you and your authentic personality. We're also going to be including different elements of Tai Chi and Qigong and energy work and some really neat stuff that makes our style a little bit more unique than perhaps some classes you've been to somewhere else. So we're, again, we're super excited about this. Okay, next question. How much yoga experience do I need to take this training? Oh, all right, this is kind of a, an iffy question. I mean, we ask that you have some yoga experience, at least enough to know that you want to deepen your knowledge of yoga or that you want to be a teacher. Um, but, you know, as long as you have some classes and some experience and interest, you, you should be fine. Um, you don't need to be perfect at any yoga poses. You don't have to be strong and you don't have to be anything. Just showing up is what's the most important part and having a willingness to learn. Okay, along with that, what will I learn in this training? Oh, so much. Uh, of course, you're going to learn things like yoga philosophy, yoga poses, meditation, breath work, the fundamentals of teaching, qualities of a yoga teacher and the business of yoga, but you'll get so much more out of it than just that. Both Dave and myself come from different backgrounds and we both have a slightly different training, uh, but we, and we have unique abilities to provide you with information that's, that's, that's pretty incredible. So my background is in graphic design, marketing and advertising. So I love to help and add in there a little bit of online marketing for your yoga business and um, ways to teach to different audiences, how to get a yoga teacher job and how to put yourself out there, how to gain confidence in communication. That's something that I'm very passionate about. Dave opened a yoga studio after he took his training. So he's got the knowledge, 
base about what it takes to open a brick and mortar actual yoga business and work with people, which again is a great uh, two different perspectives coming together to teach you all that we know. All right, what if I don't want to be a teacher? That's also a really great question. You don't have to be a teacher. Currently, there's not a whole lot of yoga teacher trainings out there or yoga trainings out there that aren't yoga teacher trainings. So if you don't want to be a yoga teacher, you're still going to get great benefit from this. Personal development, lifelong friendships, a, a deeper knowledge base about yoga and how to incorporate it into your life, and so much more. So if you don't want to be a teacher, that's okay. And we also found that many people come into trainings thinking they don't ever want to teach and then realizing, you know, this isn't so bad and I think I could have fun with this. So you can always change your mind. You have the freedom to do that. Um, and then there's some most, but just so you know, a lot of people who go through teacher trainings never actually end up teaching. And that's okay. Either way. <laughs> All right. What if I have an injury? or if I'm pregnant. First and foremost with that, please consult your doctor first. However, you're gonna gain a lot out of this, even if you have an injury or if you're pregnant, actually that can be very beneficial to us because we can use you as an example for um, certain types of injuries. Let's say if you're, you have a shoulder that's injured and you can't do certain poses, that's okay because you're gonna find a lot of students in your classes with that same kind of condition or slightly different, but you'll learn how to modify and help those who have injuries. So if you have injuries, we can definitely work with you um, and it's, it's completely fine. All right, do I get free classes while attending teacher training? Yes, you'll get a month of free classes while attending uh, Alley Cat Yoga teacher training. Because our training runs 20 days or so, you'll get that full month. Um, this isn't a, a once a month training or anything. It's a pretty short intense. So it's, it's just, you get a month of free classes. All right. What's the minimum age requirement to attend teacher training? Uh, we ask that you're at least 16 years old. If you're under 18, you'll need a parent or guardian to sign a waiver, um, but at least 16. Do you help with accommodations for people traveling out of town? Currently, we are not offering help with that. However, if you reach out to us, we are more than willing to, to, to work together to help you out to find something that works for you. There's a lot of hotels in the area. You've got Airbnb. Um, you've, got a, you've got a few options. In fact, I'm traveling in from out of town. So if you are one of those as well that is traveling from out of town, we might be able to work together to find accommodations. So um, reach out to me or Dave and we'll help set you up. Okay, what books and materials are included with the price of training? You will be getting a teacher training manual that I have developed myself and have found to be very beneficial to yoga trainees. Um, we do have five required books that are not included in the price of training. You'll have to get those on your own. Of course, Amazon is a great place to buy those books. They're pretty cheap, most of them being like 10 to $15. And that list is um, I'll put it someplace else, but that list is, is something that you'll need uh, upon signing up. It's a uh, yoga anatomy, theme weaver, yamas and niyamas, uh, the alchemist and how yoga works. Okay. How many students will be in this training? We need a minimum of six and we're going to max it out at about probably 15. Right now we have several already signed up and it's still very early. So you wanna make sure that you sign up early so you don't, you know, to avoid that cutoff. And we don't wanna to have to, you know, um, we don't wanna to have to not let people in because we've got too many. So we want, we wanna be able to, to accommodate. So we're, we're hoping for um, a max of 15 and that that's how many because we still want to give that personal attention to you we don't want it to be so big that you don't feel like you're getting our me and Dave or each other's attention and I want to get to know each of you personally and I'm very excited about that okay who is teaching the training I guess I've already went over that uh, myself and Dave friends 
me being Ashley Jonas or Ashley Hagen, you'll, you'll find both of those names around. And I've been a full-time yoga teacher for five years since I graduated from my first yoga teacher training. I've never opened a studio, but I'm pretty much devoting my life to helping other people become better teachers and helping people be introduced to yoga. I'm also a Budokan Yoga Sensei, which is a style of like a martial arts based style of yoga. And I have, you know, I go to multiple different trainings just to learn different ways. I'm a fitness instructor and started in that way too, teaching things like body pump, turbo kick, a class called Ripped, and just cardio fitness, bar class, that kind of stuff. And then moved mostly into yoga teaching and Dave opened a yoga studio after he took training. We were actually the two non-Texas people who went down to Dallas, Texas, to take the two-week teacher training intensive. And we connected on that level being that we're from the Midwest. I'm from Minnesota. I lived in Fargo, North Dakota for 10 and a half years, and Dave from Wisconsin in the Toma area. Um, Dave can tell you a little bit more about himself, but he is a super awesome alley, uh, alley cat <laughs> with his studio. He opened his studio. His wife has the nail salon next door. He teaches a very powerful style of yoga as well. Um, he is inspired by uh, teachers like Brian Kest and, and power yoga teachers such as that. And yeah, so um, I guess that was not much of an introduction for both of us, but you can see more about us, me at ashesyoga.com and Dave by just exploring the Alley Cat Yoga site. Uh, make sure if you want to friend us on Facebook and reach out if you have any questions. Okay, what is the full time commitment and what if I have to miss a day? So our training starts Friday, June 8th and we're gonna do an evening like six to nine introduction where we get to know each other and then training starts the next day on the 9th at 7 a.m. And it goes until the 16th, which is 7 to 5, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hours may vary here and there. And then we have a break from the 20th to the, no, 17th to the 20th. We start back up on the 21st and run through the 28th, again, 7 to 5. And we may, uh, a day here or there may be used for um, adventures or an outing. Um, we may have some days where we end a little bit early, um, some days where you have more homework, some days where we have less. So it's going to be a little bit variable, but for the most part, don't try to plan a lot of social activities or engagements before or after training days, because not only are, you know, your plans might get a little skewed, but you're going to be very mentally and maybe physically drained from training days. So you want to recover, you'll want that rest time. And we do have a little bit of homework here and there. But being that this is an all day, every day kind of intensive, your homework will be limited to very minimal through the training. But you will have some homework during that four day break. Okay, what if you have to miss a day? If you have to miss a day, that's okay. Totally fine. Um, we will, we have that the four days uh, break in there so that you're able to make up some of those days. Um, if you have to miss more than a day or two and have something scheduled, please work with us individually so we can work on um, making those days up. If you're missing, you know, three, four, five, six days, this might not be the best time to take a yoga teacher training because we want you invested in this training, putting the time in and showing up. And one of the biggest things is that you need to show up in order to learn. Um, we can't, we don't have, both Dave and I don't have the mental or physical capacity to work with you one-on-one -on -one when we're providing the space to work with the group. And just a little bit too much for us. So we're able to do some work if you miss a day or two uh, but, uh, with each other and during that, especially that four day break or the, a couple days after training. But uh, you know, that's something that we can also just communicate about. So talk to us ahead of time. We definitely don't want you missing unexpectedly. We understand if sicknesses, illnesses, deaths in the family type of stuff happen, but just, just talk to us. Be open and clear communication. Okay, how much time will be spent on homework? Like I said, this is a intensive all day, every day training. So your homework will maybe be like an hour or so 
each night, maybe more or less, but nothing where you're doing like out of training and then you just feel like you're working the whole time and you have to stay up until midnight to get it done. Nothing like that. Um, most of our work will be done in class. What is Yoga Alliance? Yoga Alliance is a yoga governing body that was developed in 1999 and they, they do their best to regulate yoga teachers, yoga schools, and all of that. It really is best to do a yoga teacher training with a Yoga Alliance certified school, which we are, so that you know that the standards are there. We've had to apply to be a Yoga Alliance certified school and then give them our curriculum and all of that to make sure that everything is set, everything is good to go. And uh, you can register as a yoga teacher with Yoga Alliance. Sometimes that makes your teaching opportunities a little bit more credible if you're with Yoga Alliance, but it's definitely not required. There currently are no legal requirements for people to teach yoga. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to get any kind of training, but it's still good to get the training, to get the knowledge and to have that experience. All right. Will I be qualified to teach yoga after I complete the course? Yes, of course you will. Uh, so after you complete the course, if you've got all your required stuff in the, uh, your requirements in, then you will become a certified yoga teacher at the end of this course. A registered yoga teacher is a certified yoga teacher who registered with Yoga Alliance, but at least you will be at first a certified yoga teacher. How exciting is that? So you can go off and teach yoga to all the people that you want, whenever you want, at all times. What is the process for getting hired at Alley Cat Yoga once I complete the course? That's something that will have to be discussed with Dave, the owner of Alley Cat. I know that he is looking for teachers to fill some spaces, but it also depends on if it fits uh, the style or um, if it fits in the schedule. So what's available? Um, definitely be open to talking with us if you are interested in teaching at Alley Cat. And of course, we'll be giving preference to Alley Cat Yoga graduates. So uh, that's something that's very much an option. Um, it's just something that we will go through in training to see if it's a good fit. Okay, what is required to graduate? There's a few benchmarks that we have to hit, like number of hours and certain testing requirements and certain things. What's uh, required for us is at the end, you will do a presentation, a 20 minute presentation about um, teaching a yoga class in front of everyone to everyone. You'll also have a midterm exam and you'll have some books you'll have to read. You have a certain number of classes you'll have to attend. So there are some uh, numbers that you'll have to hit. And the biggest thing is to complete that, that, uh, that final or the final presentation at the end of the course. And that's it. That's our FAQ for Alley Cat Yoga Teacher Training. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, I'm super looking forward to seeing you in training or in a class at Alley Cat very soon. And I hope to get out there to teach a couple classes. Uh, when I do, it will be uh, before training. I hope to get out to Alley Cat to teach some classes. Um, I will be posting when I'm doing that later on. It might be this later this spring. Um, but make sure that you sign up or apply for Alley Cat Yoga Teacher Training if it's something that you're interested in doing and thinking that's going to be a benefit to you. Um, if you have more questions, just reach out. I'm here for you. Dave is here for you. You can send us a message, whatever it might be. Um, so here we go. Let's do this. Alley Cat Yoga Teacher Training, June 2018.